In channel partitioning protocols, a resource is divided into same size portions to allow sharing through assignment of those portions to users. Time division multiple access divides time into fixed length timeframes, and then the timeframes into fixed length time slots. The time slots assigned to a user are the time that the user is allowed to send. The length of time slots are typically chosen in a way that sending a packet in one time slot is possible. Users share the channel by receiving time frame assignments in rounds. They use their time slot if they have packets to send and stay idle otherwise. For example, in the figure, users 1, 3, and 4 are using their assigned time slots within a 6 slot time frame. Users 2, 5, and 6 are also assigned a time slot, but they are not sending data in their time slot. Time division multiple access eliminates collisions and is fair among users, as it assigns each a time slot. However, a limitation with TDMA is that even if a user does not have anything to send, it is still will maintain the time slot allocation. For example, user 2 in the figure does not have anything to send, but the time frame for user 2 remains unused and is not allocated to another user. That drops the utilization. This also means a user with more load will not receive more than the allocated share even if time slots are available. For example, if user one has more to send, it does not get to use the user two's time slots. User one has to wait for its own turn for sending even if it has more data to send and channel is available due to other users not sending. In frequency division multiple access, the channel is divided into frequency bands and each frequency band is assigned to a user. For example, in the figure, the frequency band of the channel is divided into six smaller frequency bands and assigned to users. The three of the frequency bands, which are one, three, and four, are used by the assigned users as they have packets to send. And three frequency bands, which are two, five, and six, are not used in the figure as the assigned users do not have packets to send. As you can see, FDMA is also like TDMA in that the unused assigned portions, which in FDMA is in frequency bands, go idle. It also does not assign the unused frequency band to another user that has more packets to send. We do have other channel partitioning multiple access protocols in addition to TDMA and FDMA as well. A famous one is CDMA, which stands for Code Division Multiple Access, which assigns a different code to each node. Each node uses the code assigned to it to encode the data bits it sends. This makes simultaneous transmissions possible. 